Welcome back to Titans All Access from the Bet MGM studio. Time for Talking Ball, presented by Duncan. And here is Jim Wyatt, TennesseeTitans.com senior writer, editor. In our last segment, Amy Wells did a great interview with rookie punter Ryan Stonehouse. Are you even a little surprised at how his success from Colorado State has translated to the NFL? Uh, not after seeing him this offseason. I mean, I, I watched him uh, at, in college against Vanderbilt, I think, unleashed like an 81-yard punt. I remember watching that game and thinking, well, this kid's got a leg, and then he shows up here at camp and is hitting bombs early on that this kid is legit. Uh, he's got a strong leg, and I think, you know, I think this organization knew that if you let him go, somebody else was going to sign him, and he's continued to do that during the course of the season. This week's opponent, Jacksonville. First time in 52 weeks we have seen the Jaguars. So as you've studied them this week in preparation, Jim, what stands out to you as a difference or differences in Jacksonville? Well, Trevor Lawrence has gotten better and they've lost eight games. But I think six of the eight they've lost in the final couple of minutes. So they could they could be sitting here at six and six and I'm not counting a game against Indianapolis. They lost late too. I mean, this is a team that could be over 500 trying to get into contention to win the AFC South. So I think he's a big part of it. He's thrown it all over the place. He's really settled down. Tra Travis Etienne has gotten a lot better for him. Christian Kirk has been good. So the offense for Jacksonville has gotten better and better. And that's, you know, got to be a concern for the Titans. Some people think he's the fastest back in the NFL. Maybe, maybe yep. not. Defensively, a lot of young talent. What jumps out to you about the Jags defense? Well, they have not been as good on defense. I mean, let's tell it like it is. They have not been as good on defense as they have on offense. I think they have had some shortcomings. They're not uh, playing well enough in the secondary to allow their pass rush to, to get going. They've got 19 sacks this year. Certainly can ri rise up and, and play. But uh, you know they've been winning games or been in games because of, of what the offense has been able to do. All right, so ended up here, Jim. What are your keys to the Titans beating the Jaguars on Sunday in this very important AFC South game? Well, I, I think the Titans need to kind of reclaim their identity a little bit, and that's running the football and uh, you know being good against the run. You know this is you know we've got a home stretch coming up where you can kind of take care of the division and put yourself in a really good spot at the very end to maybe potentially get some guys rested up for a postseason. That's not on anybody's mind right now, but that's certainly what I think you've got to do is you've got to run the football. You've got to find uh, you know more plays in the offense and, uh, and kind of get back on a roll like you were during that seven, you know, seven of eight stretch. Read Jim Wyatt at TennesseeTitans.com every single day. He's got great Tennessee Titans information for you there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mike.